Hello beautiful people, my name is Clarice Quenty. I'm the CEO and founder of Voices with Claire. Voices with Claire is a talk show on lifestyle and you can find us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Twitter and what have you. All you need to do is just type Voices with Claire. So guys, I need us to talk about something very important today. Let's talk about self-love self-love yeah who are you i mean you as an individual who are you do you really know yourself do you really know who you are maybe you just know your best color your best food um what do you, what your best movie um and what have you or the kind of woman you like or the kind of guy you like yeah, I need you to understand that self-love goes way beyond that. Self-love has to do with you loving yourself unconditionally. You know the love, the kind of love that you give to people out there? That kind of love you show people who don't even give it back to you. That kind of love, that undying love that you have for someone that... When you, don't, when you don't see the person or you don't hear from the person, it eats you up so bad. That is the kind of love you need to give yourself. We need to get to a point in our lives where you can be on your own and in your private space for as long as a week without really desiring or wanting or having that great hot desire to be with someone else you can be a, a, alone to a, 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 and let's say you're in a relationship and your partner decides to say i'm leaving i'm moving out i don't want this relationship anymore you can say okay farewell darling i love you so much but i wish you the best yeah that's what we talk about self-love because most of us we do not even know ourselves we do not even love ourselves. How many times do we give ourselves treats? I'm not talking about... People will say, oh, I don't have the money. Oh, I don't want to go sit out there alone. Oh, I don't want to... There are many more things you can do to yourself to prove that you care about yourself. How many of us take good showers? How many times do you take a shower and, you know, really take a good shower and spend some quality time in your bathroom or in your bathtub and just heat yourself up and, you know, love what you're doing and love that moment and cherish that moment and not want to just rush out of the bathroom because you want to go meet someone, that person you care about more than yourself. That is the main reason why we get so hurt every single day. Because we give our hearts, our bodies, our souls, and our minds to people. We want people to love us unconditionally, which is so hard. Because truth is, you don't even know yourself. You don't even love yourself. And remember, people give only what you show them. They only give you the measure of love someone can give to you. It's, it, depends on, it only depends on how much you have shown that person that you love yourself. Many of us do not love ourselves. We do not even know ourselves. We do not even know those moments, those times that we, that, that we find pleasure. Like, some people know that, okay, I love movies. And to them, when they're watching movies, that's that moment. That's it. No, that's not all about it, honey. That is not all. How many times do you walk around and feed your inner man with the beauty of nature? How many times do you just lay in your bed and have a conversation with yourself? It's very important. The white man calls it meditation. Many people here meditate, meditate. They think it's about talking with God and all of that. No. Meditate, that moment, that meditation time when you spend with yourself, just thinking about you. How did I come to this world? Look at how... You, some people could go as far as using a mirror to look at themselves and just speak to you and just you know recount those things that you see about yourself that you want to see even about yourself it's not just about the physical things those achievements that you have in your mind you need to get to that place in your life believe me it is hard it is difficult it will take a it will take a while because 
as humans we have that burning desire to have people tell us you're beautiful we want validation we want them to always remind us of how we look and all of that but tell me don't you know you're pretty don't you know you're smart don't you know you're intelligent are you sure you really need someone to tell you that uh, why do you think you have to someone out there has to make you feel or realize that you're that you're good enough that you're enough why does someone have to remind you of that why can't you tell yourself why can't you remind yourself every single day every time you need to create that mindset that if today i sleep and wake up and i realize that i'm the only person in this part of the world i'm the only person i'm the only one here on earth i mean i'm not talking about everybody living earth i'm talking about your loved ones leaving you those friends your friends your best friends your party party your uh, party partners and your uh, whosoever those people you cherish more than everything else what happens if you wake up tomorrow and none of them is around that is the end for so many people so many people will be like my world is crumbled and ended yes we all have that these emotions inside because we are humans but the truth is we cannot remain on that same spot every day and keep letting people come into our lives and going out they come in they leave and we cry and we hurt and we struggle then we rebuild ourselves then we let people come in again and hurt us and all of that that's the reason why come come on example that's the reason why many people when they have um some sort of um natural changes in their bodies they are so uncomfortable they are so unhappy they fall sick some people want to see a therapist just because they have some natural changes in their bodies maybe you have an acne this is so natural i can't kill myself because of this mm -mm, i can't this is a change of a season i have something here i'm not gonna kill myself because of that no it doesn't stop me from being me things like that don't have to define you they define you when you let the world decide give tell you how you're supposed to be when you accept it and realize that this is me, a human being created by God and I have flaws and I have weaknesses and I have child, uh, 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 some uncomfortable things that I do which people will not like. You accept it and you love yourself that much. Anybody coming in is just coming to add to it. When they come in, they play their part and they decide to leave. My darling, you should be able to bid them farewell. You should be able to say, you know what? I understand people come into my life for a reason, for a season, and for some for a lifetime. But even those who come into my life for a lifetime, we are still going to separate one day because death is inevitable. So I am, I'm just going to accept it. I'm just going to accept the fact that you are living. It's going to hurt me because I love you so much. Our memories and things like that cannot be, you, you know, I cannot replace them. No one can replace them. But... I know you have to go. Have a great time. God bless you. Enjoy your life. Darling, you cannot spend your time on earth worrying about the things you cannot change. Believe me, it took me forever, forever to get to this point where I really do not care. As long as I know I'm doing right, as, as long as I know it makes me happy, as long as I know I'm not hurting my God, everything is cool. Everything is fine. Like, no problem. And that is exactly how we need to build ourselves. I am still in the process of building. But I just want to encourage somebody. Because as I'm on this journey, every single day I get to discover myself more. I get to find out those things that I would love to do so much. And maybe the other person might not even want it and if i have to live my life because another because of another person then i will bypass that thing that i cherish so much that thing i wanted to do so much the worst part of it is when we have friends and loved ones in our lives who do not even add anything to our lives all they do is soak out all the positivity they want to just kill our dreams and destroy us that's the worst part of it you don't want to give a chance to things like that you want to make sure you build your mind to the point where if things like that come, you just tell them, you know what? There's no space for you. You have to go. 
Like you really just have to go because my world on my own, my world alone, that world in which I live, that that a kingdom I control, I can manage it by myself. True happiness will only come to you when you begin to understand these things. True happiness is very close to you. But the issue is you cannot have it because you are, you, you are still living in the world of others. You're still living in people's world. You're still doing people, stuff for people. You're not living you yet. You do not even know you yet. You need to get to that point when you know you so well. And believe me. It's only at that point that you attract the wrong people, the right people, sorry. It is only when you get to know you, love you, understand you, that you will attract the right people. Because when you are around people who don't want you to know yourself, people who control your life and all of that, all you do is do things to please them. You want to live for them. You want to do stuff in a way that they will validate it and all of that. And imagine their validation. It's just to please them. What about the rest of the people? What about the rest of the world? Your dreams are dying. And the problem is you just do not believe you can do it. Honey, you can do it. You are enough. You are so enough. I wish you can understand this. I wish I could say it in another way that you will understand it. You are enough. Stop letting people control your world. One minute they are in, you are so happy that one minute because they are controlling everything about you because their presence makes you happy. Their absence makes you, makes you sick. So you are only happy when they are around. And the moment they leave, you fall sick. The moment they leave, your world is so dark. Your world becomes a, a nightmare. Everything around you just sucks. I'm so sorry the weather is, you know, up and down. But like I said, we have to take it the way it is because that's nature. Whatsoever nature gives us is what we have to take. We do not have any choice. There's no time to start saying, oh my God, oh, why is this? Oh, no, no, you can't change it. So why not take it? Be happy about it. Yes, like I was saying, when you live, surround your life around people, when you want to live life for people, get ready. To get hurt every single day. Because they will so hurt you. They will step, step on your toes. Learn. Practice to love, adore and cherish your moments alone. And guess what? When you get to learn to cherish those moments, you will never be alone. Because you will be so attractive, so beautiful, so glorious. You will blossom in a way that everybody will want to be around you. Because you carry positive energy. Because you are so, there is that glamour. But when you keep on living for people, you attach yourself to people and you want to please them and all of that. Guess what happens? You are always gloomy. Because you do this and they say, oh, that's not well done. You do this one, they say, that's not well done. Why did you do it this way? You start doing it that way. A lot is passing you by. And when you're struggling to live for people, you always have this dull and negative energy around you. You have this negativity roaming all over you, which is only going to repel people from you. It's never going to attract people to you. There is no one on this earth that has ever died because he or she is single. Single in every domain. He or she does not have too many friends around and all of that. One or two, three friends is enough. One or two, three people you can hang up out with, you can talk to, you can call and have, you know, some time with and all of that. It's enough. The rest should be uh, just your, you know, we just hang out once in a while. We are colleagues and all of that. Don't get people too attached to you to the point where they have to control your life. And that way they get to distort everything about your life. And if it's relationship wise, if that person says enough, I want to leave. I'm tired. I'm done. Bid that person farewell. Even if that's your first relationship, you will find another. And if it's not your first relationship, why are you hanging on to this one where you've had many and they have gone and you still moved on? Why? If you want to live your happiest life and happiest moments, start by understanding how you can love yourself. How you can cherish your moments 
alone. Go find out. The people who have made it big time in this life, they spend about 60-70% of their time alone. Like, I'm not talking about people who have just, there are people who have made it. When I talk of make it, you know what making it means. If they have 60% to themselves, 40% they spend it. When you have that time you have to yourself, remember you are building. You are, you are, your brain is working. So I'm not saying you're just spending time on yourself watching movies or eating food and getting fat and all. No, no, no. I'm talking about you spending quality time thinking. Having great ideas dropping in and deleting negative ideas. Then the rest of the 40% of your time, you're out there with people. You try to make, you know, meet people, talk business, discuss important things and delete gossiping and backbiting and hatred and all of that. No, you spend time with people who have reasonable ideas to share. You guys share wonderful ideas together and all of that. Then you execute your stuff, your ideas. That's what I'm talking about. Stop waiting for people to come and help you do this or that. With or without them, your life is so complete. You are so, so enough on your own. Stop letting people deceive you. Stop letting people derail you. Push you to wrong directions. Stop it. Self-love. We have a lot more coming on self-love. How you can love yourself. The things you can do by yourself. How you can attract the right people to yourself. Because you have loved you enough. And how to let go of people who say, I'm done, no more. Because remember, the moment you realize yourself, you discover yourself, and you want to take steps to do important things to, 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 to your growth, those people who have been in your life, those people who have controlled you for so long, those people who have been your bosses, bosses in quotes, they will say horrible things about you they will make stories of you they will they will so want to bring you down so before you take that step you need to prepare your mind mentally mentally stabilize your mind and that's why the series coming up on self-love and self-discovery is what you want to watch because that's the first step to discovering yourself to 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 sorry that's the first step to building yourself realizing your dreams and getting to that height where you've always wanted to be i hope this little introduction has helped somebody but like i said there is a lot more coming up on self-love and self-discovery which is going to change your life forever i know you say it's so difficult because that person has been in your life for eight years ten years twelve years whatever 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 that has nothing to do time is not that thing if you made up your mind to ch make a change discover you love you and build you spend some time with us and you won't regret it i love you guys so much sorry 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 i had to drop this but it's raining and and all that 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 but it's okay we will get there have a, a wonderful day have an awesome time and god bless you bye Voices for love